I was 15 and I was playing soccer with my youth group on wet grass and I happened to just slip that night and I tore my medial ligament on my knee. I ended up having therapy for a number of weeks and then ended up having to have surgery to repair the ligament. This is a classic situation where a young active individual may either live with the discomfort for a prolonged period of time or undergo surgical procedures that are, while minor, don't necessarily address the problem. In my job, I'm a charge nurse at Triners Hospital for Children. When I was 36, I started having a lot of pain again. Just that deep bone pain, like grinding, kind of bone on bone, when I would walk or when I would get up out of the chair, when I'd do stairs, or it was to the point where I was just really, really in a lot of pain. I was didn't realize how kind of depressed I was starting to get because I couldn't really do anything. There we go. So some people would run and do things for me, and sometimes I would barter. And went back to my doctor and said, well, you don't really have any cartilage left on your knee and you're too young for a knee replacement. So that's when he decided to refer me to Dr. Brian Cole. In her case, because she had significant damage on the patella and the groove that the patella tracks in, we did a osteochondral allograft. So that is when a living donor, the same donor who has heart, liver, lung donation at the time of death, also donates parts such as cartilage, the meniscus cartilage. The way it works, he said, you have to wait for somebody to die in order to get their bone that has the fresh cartilage on it. It's basically like a bone plug, and he said they would take out my bone and put the new bone plug in from the donor. I was elated to see how she responded initially because in many respects I can do the same operation on, the, on many different people with the exact same problem, but the outcomes could be highly variable. And we've become very astute at trying to predict who will and will not do well so that we can hone in on how we indicate a patient for an operation like this. Wonderful, amazing, it's a miracle. I thank God every day that um, I was able to have this surgery and this technology was available and that some family was able to selflessly uh, donate tissue so that I could have a new lease on life. The biggest value is the return that you get after helping an individual and they come in and they let you know it. There's nothing that compares. There's not a single aspect of what I do that compares to that. I had to keep thinking to myself going, wait, I'm going to feel pain, I'm going to feel pain, and I wasn't feeling any pain. I was like, this is, I think I'm dreaming. I feel like I'm dreaming. I still feel like I'm dreaming, like I haven't woken up yet. Mm -hmm.